guys, it's Jason here. Welcome to another episode of the Oak Mountain ACOT. Well, the weather is starting to come our way. It's uh, mid-February, just before Valentine's Day, and uh, we had a minus 20 degree Celsius night last night, but uh, it's warming up really nice here in the afternoon. It's probably minus 12 degrees Celsius. The trails are packed in hard, and we've got about two feet of snow on the ground, but uh, I can't wait any longer. I've got to get cutting some hardwood. So we're going to get, uh, obviously, the Kubota RTV out, the saws, and we're going to be bringing in the B2601 and the Craneman hydraulic timber trailer. Stick around. Okay, guys, so we found uh, a nice spot out of the wind. There's a light wind here today, which makes it a little more chilly, but we're out of the wind. We've got the sun coming down in, so we've got a great place here to spend the afternoon. So uh, the saw should be sharp, and we're just going to get one going here, and uh, we're going to go after some hardwood. Look at that. It's even full of fuel. Okay guys, take a look at that right there. There's five ash trees all growing very close together. I don't know if they would call that a coppice growth or not because coppice growth usually comes out of multiple stems out of one stump. But uh, that is exactly what I'm looking for when I'm making firewood. I'm gonna pick one of those trees to be the best tree. And it should be one that looks like it's a dominant tree. And that's the one that's gonna stay. And everything else is gonna come out of there, including that little hop horn beam right in front of it. So that's going to be a nice bunch of firewood when I get those down.
Okay guys, so you can see we're wading some deep snow. The crust really hasn't set up hard enough for us to stay on top. We'll probably be able to get some 18 inch or 16 inch sticks of wood off of those stumps in the spring. And this is right along the trail, so we'll keep an eye out for those. We'll pick them up if we can. But you can see when you find those coppice growths, you can get a lot of firewood down in a hurry, right? Hard to tell on camera. But these trees are anywhere from probably six to 10 inches in diameter. The little maple that we did over there is probably more like a four to five inch in diameter. But uh, I bet you we've got half a trailer load of firewood here already. Now I got my work cut out for me to get in here and limb everything up and get it ready to pick up with the Craneman hydraulic timber trailer. I gotta figure out a plan to deal with this snag next. I don't think that's a situation where I'm just gonna run in there and cut that beach that it's caught up in because I can't move in that deep snow very fast. I think that could be a recipe for disaster. So what that might require is actually a trip back in with the Komatsu Bako just to knock that down on the ground. And I'm not against taking the time to do that to keep myself safe. And I don't think I'm gonna get in underneath that and limb the rest of those trees up until I get that done. So let's look after that next. Okay guys, it just took a minute for us to go back and knock that tree down, and now we're ready to take the Kubota and the crane men to start picking up wood. There was a guy that commented on one of the videos and he said, why would I need that Craneman hydraulic timber trailer? The wood that you're cutting, you can lift by hand. I don't think I want to put a trailer load of this stuff on by hand, guys. What do you think? So it's pretty easy to forget to put down the stabilizers on this trailer, guys. Now it only takes a minute to put them down, but you've got to do it every time. And if you don't, you can upset your trailer. Trust me, I've done it. Now the other tip that I can give you, and you've heard me say it in other videos, but you should uh, just load light and uh, handle one or two small trees at a time until you get some ballast on your trailer. And then once you get some weight on your trailer, 
you can pick up whatever the crane can handle. But uh, again, if you're not careful, if you don't have ballast on that trailer, you can upset this thing. Okay, so I've got some ballast on the trailer, so now I can uh, pick up three, four logs at a time, whatever I think I can handle. That's a pretty nice grapple load of wood right there. Now you'll notice that uh, my boom rotates really slow. I have a regulator on the hydraulic feed on that rotator and uh, I've got it turned right down to 40%. Uh, there's no need for that to go really fast and uh, I find that it just slaps the equipment around and uh, probably going to loosen up some joints and cause me maintenance down the road. Now this log was still hooked to the stump and uh, I gave it a little bit of a pull and I knew that it was going to come, but uh, watch it jump right here. There, she just let go.
Okay guys, so let me know in the comments if you think that little maneuver right there is unsafe. I'm interested in your feedback. Okay guys, so uh, that's a pretty nice load of wood. I didn't think we'd have a full trailer load, so that's gonna be a solid half quart of firewood. This size wood is perfect for us. It's uh, gonna go through the firewood processor easily. Uh, there's not gonna be uh, anything to hang up in that machine, so uh, this is gonna be really great wood for us to process. And our repeat customers love this size wood. It's easy for them to handle and get into their fireplaces. And uh, it's kind of, I call it one split firewood. So. Uh, Pretty excited to get a load of wood like this out today. All right guys, let's get it back to the yard and unload it.
Okay guys, there you have it. Uh, another half a cord out here on the wood pile. My wood pile's not very big. We were building the uh, maple sugar shack all through the fall, so I never got to the woods. So the pressure's on to get the wood cut now. Uh, but the weather's going to cooperate, so I feel like we're going to be able to get some wood out now, which is uh, really nice. Anyway guys, um, I would say this is microforestry at its best, and there's a lot of money tied up in equipment here, but uh, we've got the ground, and we have to have the equipment to get in and work the woods, so uh, I think that it's all been a very good investment. And hey guys, go on back and check out some of our previous videos, because if you're interested in watching this little trailer work, We've done a lot of videos on that over the last year. Anyway guys, like we always say, if you like our videos and you want to see more of them, hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, share our video with your friends and family and help us grow our channel. And come on back and check on us often because you never know what the Oak Mountain ACOTs are going to be up to next. We'll see you in the next one guys.